Welcome back. We are now going to look at the next tab over from both general and subscription and we're going to change the settings in the confirmation message. Now in GetResponse you can choose to either have the format to be delivered to always be plain text and this is actually the most conservative because in some cases you will have individuals who will only be able to receive plain text. And even if you send an HTML email, they would receive plain text and you'd have to make sure that you had both plain and HTML messages created. So you can eliminate that by only sending plain text emails. However, recipients are typically expecting to see HTML, which is a cleaner format. You're then going to have the subject line for your confirmation email. Now you can change that subject line to something else that GetResponse has on file. And they have a number of choices they have available, some of which even have personalization codes in them. You're then going to determine what your from address is going to be. Now, it's important that you avoid using cloud-based email systems such as Gmail or Hotmail, and that you use your self-hosted email address with your specific domain name. And one other thing to note is that if you're going to be sending an email, and the links in that email are going to come from a specific domain, you'd want to make sure that your from address is going to have the same domain listed. And when you create emails, you can have a default template always shown, or you can make sure that there's going to be a different default setting, which you can choose from the set of templates that GetResponse makes available to you. You can also customize your confirmation message. And one of the things you'll note is that there is some boilerplate language inside of the message. And most users will not change this email. And so as a result, the confirmation email typically goes straight to spam. One of the ways that you can help to keep your confirmation message out of spam is to make sure you customize that message. And you can do that here in this area. Once you've completed all your changes to the confirmation message, you can then click this button and that'll save all your changes. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.